Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here, along with NorCal Dude 599 and one half of Frostadora 57. And wait a minute. This is not my room. No, this is definitely not my room. Because this since since when did I have what when did I own two of these ugly looking banana radios? <laughs> when did I own a Sage EAS N deck that can do self-tests like crazy? When did I own a Sage N deck that can just do this? Since when did I own a TFT EAS 911? Since when did I own a Model 2 Siren? Since when the hell did I own a Radio Shack 12 260, which doesn't even deserve a screen because it only has 10 videos like my time? When did I own this? <coughs> or this? That doesn't even stop. When did I own a 250? Huh? Or this? When did I own a WR601? When did I own this? Or this? Or all this stuff? Or when did I own a Beta Bright? I never got a Beta Bright! Oh. Wait a minute. Just kidding, guys. This is not even my room. I am actually at Christopher Jenksy's house, a.k.a. Trains and Sirens 1's house, for two days. Why? Very simple. We got severe weather coming our way. Jeez, what'd you say? <laughs> what did you say, Javier? <laughs> oh no. I've been taken hostage surrounded by index and beta brights and TFTs and printers printer logs with paper on it and stuff. But anyways. Anyways, we got severe weather coming our way tomorrow. We got a we got an enhanced risk of severe weather tomorrow. That's why I'm here. We got severe weather. And before I get situated and unfold in the deviousness and the pure insanity that's about to unfold tomorrow, I thought, why not review some radios first? So, Radio Reviews is back with a brand new season. Five, to be exact. And in this episode of Radio Reviews... We're going to be reviewing the radio, which I've reviewed before, except this one is without the AM-FM function. And that radio would be the Recom R1630. Okay, let's get down to the basics here. The Recom R1630 is basically the basic version of the R1650, which I own back at home. And I actually brought with me, I actually brought all of my radios with me. So all of them are going to activate along with Christopher's. How nice is that? But anyways, um, this particular unit is a R1650C or, uh, sorry, ex uh, so, okay, so the 1630 is now the 1650! Thank you, thank you, I'll be here all week. But anyway, anyway, and we got a sermon announcements.
Hmm. Anyways. Anyways. As I was saying, this particular unit is a Recom R1630C because this one, when I first powered it on, showed the date as January 1st, 2006. And uh, this is basically, there's basically not that much to it. You got your buttons right here, the review buttons, the memory buttons, the volume buttons, the program and enter button, and the radio and stop button, which, need I mention, has an absolutely pristine signal on WXJ21. South Carolina, including the Greenville Spartanburg vicinity. Because even next to my laptop, it doesn't cause any interference at all. In the upper 50s. I wish my house was like that. But anyways... We're going to go into an in-depth review with the 1630 and get down to the basics with it. So, sit back, relax, and let's get into the next feature, and that would be the button beeps and the siren test. Okay, so, the button beeps. They basically sound the same as the R1650. And the program button. All right. There's the button beeps right there. Fairly simple button beeps. Now we're going to get into the siren test. So let's go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Self-explanatory enough, same as the 1650, like I said. This is basically the same radio, it's just without AM and FM function. As a matter of fact, after I do this feature, I'm going to bring the R1650 that I brought with me for comparison. Can you put the warning siren again? Okay. Yeah, I know, the 74210 sounds just like it. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, we're going to get into the next feature of it, and uh, we're going to do it in terms of the build quality. So I'm going to bring up my R1650 that I brought with me for comparison. Don't you mean R1630? God damn it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. We are going to do the build quality. So let me bring up my R1650 and put it side by side so we can compare it. Okay, we're getting into the build quality next, and as you can clearly see, watch where? Watch probability. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Anyways. Anyways, could be, but anyways, I got my R1650 next to the 1630 for comparison with the build quality, so yeah, for some reason the recon would not work with the rechargeable battery, so I just had to use the AC adapter. The reason why I got this one working is because this one has regular alkaline batteries in it, so to these rechargeable batteries, you can just suck it. But anyways, um, bless you. So yeah, let's take a look at the build quality here on the 1630 and the 1650. The 1630, fairly sturdy for what it is. 
Not too many complaints to make about this. Not too many. External antenna. That looks good. Ooh, that looks good. But, um... The build quality on the recoms are pretty good. Fairly sturdy. Now let's take a look at the 1650s. And you can clearly see that the 1650 and the 1630 are just basically the same radio. The only difference is this has AM FM functionality. This one doesn't. But looking at them side by side, yeah, that's pretty cool looking. But anyways, the build quality on both these radios are pretty good to say the least. Now we're going to move on to the next feature on the 1630, and that would be the reception. So, we're going to get into the reception, finally, after an incredibly frustrating time setting up this damn beta bright with this huge-ass remote for the enhanced risk tomorrow. Look at that. Enhanced risk for upstate South Carolina on Thursday. February 6th, 2020. But anyways, we're going to get into the reception on the Recom R1630. Let's get to it by going into the channel selector. So, the reception, to no surprise, is excellent, to say the least. Probably because we're right next to the transmitter or something. But, yeah, the reception on it is really, really good. So, um, let's go ahead and get into the speaker quality next, shall we? All right. Finally, after eating dinner, we're coming back to the reception section of this episode, and we have some new people that joined us. JT left to fuck Melissa, like usual. Um, we got uh, Thunder Buddy 01, EAS Test Fan 25, and my baby, Valerie Ross, or Miss VR. So anyways, let's get back with this episode, and now we're going in with the reception. So... Actually, no, we did the reception. Speaker quality. Correction. But anyways, anyways, anyway. So, 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 your thought. So, speaker quality is now reception. I guess, but I don't know. Anyways, we're going into the speaker quality. That's the main thing. So, let's go ahead and tune to WXJ21 in Greenville, Spartanburg, the GSP. HQ station. So let's go ahead and listen to it. Delta at eight miles an hour. The pressure was twenty nine point eight five inches and steady. Downtown Greenville. Dickless. The temperature was at sixty three degrees. Ooh. Elsewhere in South Carolina, at Greenwood, fog was reported with a temperature of sixty two. At Charleston, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of sixty six. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 62 at Anderson, 60 at Clemson, and 68 at Columbia. In so yeah, the speaker quality is actually very, very good. Just like the uh, 1650. It's very nice. I should mention that this is the newer version, which means that this one has a better sounding speaker than its predecessors. So... I should mention that. But, uh, yeah, it's very good. Especially for the, uh, 
how do I put this? It's very good, especially if you want to have a clear signal in case you wanted to activate it with your Sage EASN deck. You could use that to hook it up to your Sage because it's very clear. That's what she said. It is what she said. But, uh, by the way, speaking of Sage and Endex, I can't stop doing this. Send help. Just wait until I actually own one. Anyways, we're going to get into the next feature, which is actually a bad feature. And that would be the tuner. All right. The tuner. Tornado warning. Where? For Leak and Neshoba counties in Mississippi. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Anyways, the tuner. A lot, and I mean a lot of complaints have been received from several EAS enthusiasts about the tuner on the R1630. Not the 50, the 30. Because... The 30, the 20, the 10. Down to the 30, the 20, the 10, down to the 5, he's going to score a touchdown! Anyways. <laughs> it's football, baby girl. We're talking about the football touchdown. Well, I know that now. It's oh, by the way, speaking of tornado, I can see why they uh, issued that tornado warning uh, here. But anyways. Anyways, anyhow, any what, anywhere. Let's go any ahead who? and get, yes, any who. Let's go ahead and get to the tuner. As we said already. Hey Valerie, your camera's frozen. Yeah, it is frozen. Fuck. Okay, bend over. Wait, what? <laughs> Michael, this is a you pour. I mean, I mean, it's always, I mean, I mean, it's always you porn between us. Wait, what? Did I say it was to the public? <laughs> exact my point. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the tuner. I can do more with my tongue. Wait, what? Yeah, we'll save that for a uh, <laughs> Anyways. Enough of this. Enough of this. Enough of this sec. Enough of this. Oh, shit. Confirm tornado. Link in the show boat. Link in the show boat. Confirm tornado. It's already TORC. Anyways. Yeah. Enough of the sexual innuendos. We're going to go back to the tuner complaints. Now, this is well known to recom our 1630s, but apparently at some point in their lifespan, during the, the C and the D versions, apparently they went to basically shittier tuners. Basically, lower quality, very awful, short elastic tuners. Because almost every single EAS enthusiast that has gotten one new or used, well, used I can understand, but brand new out of the box, they have had immediate problems with the tuner. Luckily, this one hasn't had it yet. Pines in the mid 60s. Huh? Be sure to knock on wood with that. Yeah. Well, this is the R1630C, I think. Because I can tell just by the... Uh, it doesn't have the NOAA logo on it, but it has a public alert sticker. I don't know what version it is. It's probably the R1630C, because the, the date of it says January 1st, 2006, like my R1650C. So it's probably a C. But anyways, this one right here, the tuner is still thankfully good on this thing. 
Knock on wood. Um, okay, here's wood. But anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, morning wood, unlike you. Uh, yeah, yeah, morning wood, like what you don't have it in the morning, Nicholas. So. Because you said, eh, he said wood. So I bought back. I bought back? Fuck. Oh, hey. oh it's Katie. See, this is already the fifth season. This is only the first episode. And already the, the series is packed with deviousness here. But anyways... Several of these tuners are known for going dead or just being straight up shitty tuners. Several people have complained about it, but luckily this one hasn't had that issue. But if you want to get a 1630, please be very cautious about the tuner. Because let me tell you, the tuners on these R1630s are not good. <laughs> All right, the next feature on the Recom R1630 is the alert blocking. Now, just like the R1650, this has most of the alerts that you would expect on here to be blocked or have the option to be blocked. Now, as you can clearly see, this radio has all of the alerts that you would expect, like fire warning, flash freeze warning, which doesn't even exist, High wind watch, high wind warning, hurricane statement watch, iceberg warning, which doesn't exist. But, uh, yeah, the R1630 has the alert blocking feature, just like the 1650 does. And it's just as easy to block alerts on it and enable alerts on it. Like, for example, let me um, disable one of the alerts real quick. Let's say I want to disable a tornado watch. Now, you see that? Now, granted. Um, okay. I might as well fess up. I completely forgot to film the alert blocking feature. So this is my 1650. And I'm now back home. So at the time that I was at Christopher's house, I completely forgot to film the alert blocking feature because I was so distracted on it. I just wanted to get it done to prepare for tomorrow's weather event, which was two days ago at the time this is being filmed. But the alert blocking feature is basically the same thing on the 1630 as it is on the 50. So there's really no difference except on a slightly different radio. But the R1630 is basically, like I said already, the lower end version of this radio. So there's really not much else to say. But it does have alert blocking on it. So, yeah. Sorry about that inconvenience. So... In conclusion of the Recom R1630C, this is definitely a very handy desktop radio. Recom's take on the Midland WR100 and the 120 seems to make its point. But anyways, if you want to get a weather radio that's very good, that has its own flaws though. Like for example, some of them has antenna arthritis. This one doesn't, but my 1650 does. It unfortunately has antenna arthritis. As you can clearly tell. Won't even stay up anymore. But um, if you want to get a handy desktop weather radio that's simple and should hopefully last long, then the R1630 is definitely the one for you. And I see you showing off your black and silver, which we reviewed in season three. Still looking nice. But anyways, I think that concludes this episode for now. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more devious episodes to come in the future. And also stay tuned for possible Pure Insanity 10.
if not a different name for the compilation, tomorrow. And before boss. <laughs> it better not. But, uh, anyways. I didn't steal your thunder. The SPC did. Where's my thunder? The SPC won't let me be. Let me be measle, let me wait. <laughs> but, anyways. So anyways, thank you all for watching, guys. This is Clay Ranger 143 signing out, along with my baby girl, Valerie Ross, EAS Test Fan 25, Norfolk Southern Storm, Thunder Buddy 01, NorCal Dude 599, and one half of Frosted Aura 57, who is not here because he went to fuck Melissa again. Wait, what? Um, anyways... We will see you all in the next episode of Radio Reviews. Take care and keep collecting Sharpie!